people for the girls of Bardo. It's make or break as they embark on a national tour. The only problem I can say with the whole group is that everyone always thinks they're right. In fact, we're going to do busking right now. If you'd like to stop, we're just going to bus. We're trying to earn some money. How about that? The girls of Bardo are now making their own way in the world. After the hype that surrounded their formation and a debut single that went to the top of the national charts, they've got a hard act to follow, this time without the benefit of the publicity machine that took them to stardom. But as Sonia Kruger reports, the girls are glad to be fending for themselves. There's a new single on the way and a make or break national tour that could determine their long-term future. Wouldn't stop anything to give my love Was more the thought of, of ever giving it away completely is just not, not an option at all. We've had arguments, of course, and disagree. Oh. There's lots of disagreements. We agreed to disagree, you know. We've already had a member leave, so... See ya. Oh, no, I'm moving in a house with five girls. We're yeah. just going to be disaster. The only problem I could say with the whole group is that everyone always thinks they're right. <laughs> They were the most watched people on Australian television, with a weekly audience of more than two million viewers. Together, we witnessed five unknowns become the most talked about musical act in the country. You learn from it though, like if you look back now, you can say, oh my God, I should have looked this way. You can find any better angles you can find. You should have made them, you know, you, know, you learn as you go along. So you don't miss it, having no, the cameras no, there? No. <laughs> Just tell me what you think. Yeah. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> well, we love these cameras, of course. Don't you treat me bad. Don't you make me sad. I could be deep as the ocean. But thanks to that prime time publicity, their first single, Poison, became the country's number one hit. Likewise for the self titled album. Poison. But it's been more than two months since the show finished. The girls no longer live together and that regular exposure is long gone. So is the star beginning to fade? No. We, I think we knew, we knew, how, <laughs> we knew our strengths and we knew that it was about the music, it wasn't about, you know, pop stars, the show, so. And I guess the thing is, is while the show was on, it wasn't like it was just sort of half popular. Because it was so big and the response was so huge, something like that is, it, it's not possible for it to just disappear into nothing. I should have never let you go. And that appears to be true. Since pop stars, Bardot have released another single, I Should Have Never Let You Go. It didn't rocket to number one, but sits comfortably at 17 on the ARIA charts. Meanwhile, the album continues to sell. In fact, it's already gone double platinum. That means it sold a staggering 170,000 copies. And because of that popularity, the girls have announced their first national concert tour, for which they're currently rehearsing. They'll visit every major centre and perform in nine different venues in just 14 days, including New Zealand, where they'll represent Australia singing the national anthem at the Tri-Nations Tour. Australians That's too low, isn't it? I don't know. No, you're right. No, I know when it's... Australians, let us rejoice, for we are young and free. There you go. <laughs> While singing the national anthem is certainly prestigious, it's not necessarily profitable. Fame, it seems, does not bring fortune, as we discovered while shopping with Sophie yeah. and Tiffany after rehearsals. Well, you'd be rich now, wouldn't you? Because, you know, you've been on television and you're pop stars and, you know, like you're an international sort of, like, pop group now. Uh, <laughs> you'd be millionaires by now, wouldn't you? No. No. In fact, we're going to do busking right now. If you'd like to stop, we're just going to bus. We're trying to earn some money. How about that? No. Does it look good here, you go, Sof? Oh, thanks. Not quite your size. They'd probably fit Christina Aguilera, though. Yeah. 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 Hi. Hi. Aww. Thank you. Cool. And while on the street, it's obvious the Bardo appeal is still very much there, 
It appears there are plenty of people waiting to cut this fivesome down to size. You know when those pictures came out in Picture magazine, mm -hmm. how did your man feel about that? Was he a bit upset or...? Extremely, yeah. Um, to me, I don't really care because I go to the beach topless anyway. Don't look for that either. Yeah. Um, no, and, um, yeah, as you'd expect, your family and your friends wouldn't take it that well, but I mean, as most things, you forget about well, Maybe not forget about them, but you get over them and, and keep going. So I'm sure something else will pop up soon enough. I to the people that have um that don't like us i mean everyone's got their opinions but I, I don't think there's there's anyone that can put you down if you know about yourself and you know what you want to do so i think if you're confident in yourself no one's going to really put you down that much that you can't continue in what you want to do so yeah. we just trudge on yeah yeah don't give out your reasons baby because i don't want your lies and don't think so trudge on they will while these girls may not be as exposed as they were a national concert and a new single on the way is proof, perhaps, there is life after pop stars. It's given us just a great launching pad, I reckon. Yeah, there's no, not as many deadlines. Before it was always, we have to do this for this time for the show particularly. Yeah. Now it's, we have to do it for ourselves, not for a show. Which is and now it's all about Bardo, which is, you know, like before it was pop stars, whereas now we've got our own identity, which is what we wanted from the beginning. So the publicity machine is finished. Must be wrong. Sonia Kruger reporting there. And Bardo will be appearing at the Sid in Sydney at the Horden Pavilion on the 24th of August as part of that national tour. Stay with us. I'll be back with more of today tonight's program right after the break. The Big Apple. You got nothing. Why do New Yorkers have such big mouths?